developers then to create applications that they know are going to scale from generation to generation of devices. And from a, a consumer electronics device standpoint, of course this needs to be a system on chip type of design. Single chip that includes all the processing performance along with the audio and video components necessary to run these rich media uh, kinds of applications. So uh, I, I want to, uh, to show you then the new devices and new internet connected services that we can create for TV. I'd like to introduce this newest member of the CE, the Consumer Electronics Family. This is formerly codenamed Groblin, the Intel Atom Processor CE4200. So uh, today, here at IDF, we're also happy to announce that four OEMs are announcing new products as well. ADV, Samsung, Sajukom, and Technicolor are, are announcing that they're building new set-top boxes based on this device. And, and this 4200 processor is very well suited for the cable industry. For example, it delivers an increased transport stream input that supports home gateways and allows you to distribute media content throughout the home. You'll be able to tune to eight different channels and then, and then consume that, that content across different devices. You can, you can see it on a TV, a laptop, a smartphone. Expanding your entertainment options and allowing you to have the content that you want when and where you want to consume it. <laughs> but the 4200 adds a couple other features that are really important. It includes an H.264 encoder. And that allows the ability to do transcoding, to move and synchronize information across different devices. It also has integrated power management. So even as we add new power consuming features to these kinds of devices, we're able to do so in a part that consumes less energy. So it allows the consumer electronics OEMs to meet all of the regulatory requirements around energy consumption while delivering these great new CE devices over the next few generations. So this is kind of a quick snapshot, a quick run by of many of the things that we have going on in the consumer electronics space. So uh, what's the next chapter? Where should we go next with the story? Well, I don't have to tell you that there are a lot of things happening in the mobile space. Mobile devices are going through an incredible transformation as we all know very well. But Adam is in the middle of it. So let's go dig into that area next. Mobile devices are the most personal compute of all. And Atom can deliver transformational capabilities into these kinds of applications. We can, we can support applications that range in size from pocketable to portable. User experiences can be short, kind of frequent little uh, update sessions on your handheld device, for those of you who use Twitter, or tabletop usages for something that's a little bit more involved. Functionality can go from basic to immersive visual internet experiences. Now with Adam, we reach new levels uh, of, of power and cost and, and, and form factor. We, we reduced average power by 90%. We reduced size by 85%. And we reduced cost by 65% compared to the Marome architecture. And then earlier this year, we launched the 45 nanometer Z6 series. Um, which, which takes this to the next level. So, so we took that plateau and we increased a, uh, the, the capabilities of the product. We, we drove a 10x reduction in thermal power and over a 50x reduction in platform idle power. Now this product brings the rich internet experience and multimedia capabilities into a phone type of platform. And, and it shows up in a, in a device like this, this Ava phone that I have here. These are the kinds of applications that this 45 nanometer Atom Z6 series processor can support today. So we're on track. We're executing. And with Medfield at 32 nanometers, it only gets better. We're going to drive higher levels of integration. We'll reduce board size. We'll reduce part count. And we'll reduce power. So stay tuned for more there. So let's keep going on our journey here. Let's talk a little bit about tablets next. And you've been hearing a lot about tablets over the last couple of days. Well, the tablet market is expected to grow to over 20 million units next year alone. And we're seeing great design with momentum. 
I have three great examples on stage showing kind of the range of possibilities here. We have up here uh, uh, examples like the XOPC that's running Windows, great user uh, uh, interface on this device. We have Mego devices like uh, Renee just showed with the WeTab uh, device. And Android devices like the Cisco CS system. And you saw a little bit in Paul's uh, keynote video yesterday about this one. It's an enterprise, ultra-portable collaboration tablet for access to business applications and really will create, again, new usage models in the business environment. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you recall, I talked about Port of Choice. What a great example, right? So building off the Z6 series, I want to share a little bit more with you, a little more insight into the next generation atom for this space. And I want to show you a wafer of Oak Trail. Now, Oak Trail is targeted at mobile devices like netbooks and tablets. So we're really excited about this new SOC. We, we really think it's going to be a winner. And it takes the same kind of breakthrough platform, you know, power consumption, the kind of performance that we've seen with the Z series, and, and brings these rich multimedia capabilities into the, uh, the tablet space. It supports operating systems like Mego, Android, and other OSs, as I've talked about earlier. And Intel and Microsoft are collaborating to create a rich and compelling consumer experience for this platform, for this Oak Trail device, for netbooks and tablets running Windows 7. So we're really excited about that as well. So we're already seeing strong momentum in the ecosystem supporting these new platforms. We have partnerships with memory companies, uh, communications companies, uh, the power device uh, companies that are building power uh, components as well, as well as working with OEMs and ODMs to get ready for this new device. But we thought we should show you even a little bit more. So we have two devices that are running Oak Trail Silicon today, and Cam's going to come out and uh, give us a quick look at those. Thanks for having me, Doug. You bet. So what I'm showing here today is the first public showing of Oak Trail. What we're doing here, we're just showing an HD uh, 1080p clip. Um, first ever showing incredible yeah. performance that we're seeing yeah. on this uh, awesome. Oak Trail platform. Very exciting. But it's not only about the performance, Doug. It's about form factors, if I can get you to hold oh. this. It's about form factors that right. Oak Trail is actually going to be able to, to enable. And so what I have here is a device from a company out of Korea called Ocosmos. And it's Thank you. So here we have it working. So this is a five-inch gaming tablet. This is actually the premier, this will actually be the premier Windows-based gaming system. That will be out in February. So I'm pretty excited about that. Two great examples of trail running first time, right? Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Cam.